Welcome to RK Treasure Center. My name is Roy. Well, today's video, we're going to talk about some items that sold. In fact, one of the items that sold was this Furby that's sitting right up here behind me. This is a model 7800 from 1998. It's brand new, still in the box. This one sold for $50 plus shipping. So if you want to see other things that sold in today's video, keep watching because we're going to show you other items that sold. Plus, we're also going to talk about some other stuff. So be sure to watch the video all the way to the end because I think you're going to get a lot of value out of today's video. So Furbies have been selling very good for me. I'm almost out of them. I think I'm down to just a handful new in the package or out of the package. Those old 1998, 1999 ones are really some good money. And the large ones from 2005 are a really good one. But I did sell one more Furby. So let's talk about them real quick. So this is a 1998 model 7800 Furby, just like the one that I sold earlier that I showed you that was in the box. But this is a different looking one, obviously. This one's purple and white. Well, this one, is a special limited Furby. I did have two other ones that were brand new in the box. They sold for $50 plus shipping, but still out of the box used, played with this 1998 limited edition purple and white Furby with yellow hair sold for $29.99 plus shipping. So somebody's going to really enjoy this one as well. So I sold a couple items off of my glassware shelf and they're actually in here and they both go together. And that's these right here. These are two dinosaur salt and pepper shakers. Let me take them back over here to the table and we'll talk about them real quick. Just recently, I saw these at a garage sale and they had a dollar for the pair of them. So I went ahead and picked them up. And one thing that's unique about them, they're solid white, but they have a gold bow tie. So I went ahead and looked them up in the comps. Normally, like I said, I just walk by these because the salt and pepper shakers don't really do too well for me. But I was really surprised. These T-Rex white dinosaurs sell for really good money. Used like these are, these sold for $29.99 plus shipping. New, they will sell $40 to $50. I could not believe that. So if you see these T-Rex white dinosaurs, you can they're distinctive because they got the gold bow on them. Pick them up if you find them for an absolutely good price like I did. They make some good money. And I sold, which is this guy right here. It's a gunned panda. Got him in a bag to keep the uh, dust off him, but he does have a little tag in there. And he's still new. This sold for $24.99. Cute little guy. And since we're here, I'm going to go ahead and go in this bin and move this stuff out of the way. And I sold this big monster. Well, it's not really big. It's been kind of heavy. And this is a Bates Hummer three-hole punch. And this three-hole punch sold for $29.99. All right, we're going to come over here to the golf club head cover box. Sold a golf club head cover. This is it right there. This is a Callaway X2 Hot head cover for a golf club and this sold for $14.99 and was part of that $3 bulk buy. This is something that you don't ever want to pass up on or forget about. In this bag is a power supply cord or cable. This one probably went to a computer but these are things you don't want to pass up on. These are stuff that sells for like $10 or more every time. This power supply cable sold for $14.99 and you can pick these up everywhere at all the thrift shops and garage sales and places like that. They're all over the place. And usually they only have them for about 99 cents or less. And I sold a little like a fingerling, there it is, flush. It's a cute little flush, foldable arms. And he's a, like a little monkey, he's a fingerling. And he didn't sell for very much. He sold for five dollars and some change, and plus shipping. So about eleven dollars total. This little guy here was in the bottom of a box of plush that I purchased, and instead of just redonating it out, I just went ahead and listed it. But he is super cute, so I'm glad he's going out to somewhere and getting a new home. So this is a Targus computer bag. It's a little satchel. It's made out of neoprene. It's very lightweight. I paid a dollar for it and it sold for $24. And it is so lightweight and easy to mail. All I have to do is stick it into a large poly bag and this will mail out for about $4.80. Well, hey guys, it is actually the next day for me. 
And I started off today by doing a few listings. Um, I started listing my Christmas stuff. This is Q4. It just started. Q4 is October through December. And Christmas time will be coming. So I've been listing different kinds of Christmas ornaments and Christmas stuff that I picked up recently. In fact, these are shiny bright Christmas ornaments. And if you don't already know about it, old vintage shiny bright Christmas ornaments, you can generally pick these things up for a dollar or less and these things will sell for 20 30 dollars so i've been listing that kind of stuff but i need to get them out of the way so i'm going to set them up here for right now uh, just get those up and out of the way because one thing that i sold today since we're talking about sold items we're going to go ahead and continue the theme is i sold this this is a very nice janet kimberly print number 56 of 100 and on the back, it has a little bit about the author, Janet Kimberling, and the limited edition print, Certificate of Authenticity. This was a signed print. And this right here, I actually had listed for about $100. There were other ones that were on eBay, but only one had sold for a while back. And I honestly don't know. I, one thing I'm going to tell you about me is I make videos and sometimes I don't put them out in the exact order that I made them. Probably not a good thing, but sometimes I do that. So I don't know if you actually saw it or not, but I actually sold another one made by the same artist. So if you haven't seen that video, it's a short little video, probably about a five minute video and it'll be coming out. Or maybe I put it out if I'm smart enough to make sure it came out before this one, then you'll know a little bit more about it. But the lady that bought this one ended up reaching out to me. She purchased the other one as well. So what I did was I made her a great deal. And understandably that I only paid $10 a piece for these prints. The other one she purchased for $85 plus shipping. And because she was so nice and kind that I offered her this one for $45 plus shipping. And she accepted it. So this one I'm going to have to wrap up and send them out to her because she got this one as well. So the next item I sold is actually a freebie item. I didn't pay anything for it. And I wouldn't just pick these up to sell. But it's inside this bin. And it's down here on the bottom. So I need to get it and pull it out so I can show you what it is. And this is what came out of that bin. This is actually some Huggies pull-ups. They're 4T to 5T. This is not something that I would go pick up and sell. It's just something that a while back, Kim and I made a couple of purchases online. And when we had got the box of the stuff that we purchased, there were several other items in that box that were stuff that we didn't purchase. So I contacted the company and told them, hey, we got these items. I didn't purchase them or pay for them. I'd like to send them back. And they said, don't worry about it. They've already corrected it with the customer that they were other customer that actually purchased it. Just keep the items. Well, I don't have anybody this small and so <laughs> We went ahead and just decided to go ahead and list them. And that's what we did. And this sold for $14.99. So the next time we're going to talk about is right here in the K1 bin. And I picked it up just a little while back. And it's actually a really good one. I was really happy to find this. This was a thrift shop find. I paid $3.99 for it. This is a karaoke TV store star microphone. And it connects to your TV. Now this is vintage. I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but it just shows plugging into an old regular square box TV, but it'll still work in any regular TV as long as it's got the AV adapters. But this was a really, really good find. I found out these were worth some money and this sold for $49.99. And I did send it out free shipping. So I'm an extremely fortunate man. Inside this bin is a great deal of Vera Bradley purses. Now there's some other types of purses. There's a coach, a few other different ones in here, but most of these are Vera Bradley. And my wife spent two days listing all these purses so we could get them up. Cause I've been having them sit for a while and I just haven't got to it. Two things I don't like to work on are purses and clothes. And I'm not sure she does either, but she's been very big help in helping me out. In fact, I got these set up with a custom SKU so I can easily find them. But I can see right here that the one I'm looking for is this one. This one is a blue or teal Vera Bradley purse. And it's probably got reflection because we bagged all these up to keep the dust off of them. But this was a really nice one. And we listed these at prices where we could sell them and get them out the door so we don't have to hold on to them quite so much. So this one sold for $15 plus shipping. 
So if you're interested in Vera Bradley or looking for a purse, we've got a bunch of them. Well, like I said, my wife listed all those purses in the bin. She did an awesome job. And I know she's inside doing some listings right now. So let's surprise her with the camera. Let's go in there and see what she's up to. All right, let's check on Kim today to see what you're working on. What you doing there, Kimmy? I am steaming a shirt to post. And this is what we do. <laughs> if it's real wrinkled before we take a picture, yeah. um, we kind of steam, it doesn't have to be perfect, but okay. just kind of steam the wrinkles out so that when you uh, put it on the, our board. And take a picture of it? take a picture, yeah. Kind of get some of the wrinkles. You do that to all the shirts? No. <laughs> no, just certain ones? Just certain ones that are really wrinkled that you can't really. Okay, what kind of steamer kind of, is that? Let's see. It is a pure steam? Yeah. Oh, okay. You can barely see it, but yeah, it's called pure steam. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. So you come over here. So you're taking your pictures over here on this board? Yeah. So what we did was, you know, when we did the van conversion, we took some leftover, um, what is that called? Foam board? Foam board. Yeah, and just some poster board and glued it to it. And so we have a, a white side, which you can see, and then a dark side. Okay. And that's what we're doing. All right. Well, then I'm going to leave you to it and let you get out and do what you're going to do. Thank and we'll see how the clothes come. You got a bunch of clothes to do, don't you? Yeah. You didn't like doing clothes. I don't like doing clothes. So, <laughs> so you, we're going to knock them out. So you volunteered to do the clothes. I'll help you out a little bit, but you volunteered to do the clothes. I think I bit off more than I can chew. Yeah, probably oh, and did. And also, so, where's my phone? Oh. So because it's really hard to lay it on the floor and take pictures and that, so we got our makeshift little ladder yeah and we get up here and so, that way you get a high yeah. high view huh yeah all right well that so. works good i guess there's different ways we could do it but that's the easy yeah. way well all right then well then i guess i'll head on and get back to my ebay room all right bye y'all <laughs> so sometimes i label my bins kind of so i can keep track of them a little bit easier by in my head and one bin i have down here is called the h bin and the h bin which is h1 right here is my hat bin and as you can see there's not much in there only a couple hats in fact this one just sold so let's go ahead and talk about it this is a new york jets hat and i guess it's just not that popular because it's been sitting there for a while almost all my other hats have been selling pretty good and then hats really slow down and as you can see i only had a couple left but this new york jets hat sold for twelve dollars and eighty cents plus shipping Whatever you do, do not underestimate the things that can sell on eBay or what they can sell for. Sometimes you can sell something for a little bit. Sometimes you can sell for a lot. A while back in my video, you saw that I went to a thrift shop and I picked up a whole bunch of pencils that were NFL and college football pencils. And I, they were in bags of office supply stuff. And I paid like $1.99 a bag for these things. I'm talking about huge bags. And I said, I'm going to sell all the stuff that's in these bags. Well, slowly and surely, I have been and been making quite a bit of profit. So one thing that I sold inside this bin right here, and this is it right here, matter of fact. So don't underestimate the simplicity of things that you can find. This is a package of post-it notepads. It's a single post-it notepad. And it actually has Garfield on it, and Garfield took a munch out of the post-it notepads. But this is some 3M post-it notepads from 1987. And it's dated down there in 1987 on the back. Well, believe it or not, vintage office supply stuff sells, even as the simplest things like this. This sold for $8.99 plus shipping. And you figure I only paid $1.99 for all the office supply stuff out of that bag. And I've been selling all that office supply stuff. Really quickly, I wanted to talk about something. And that's bubble wrap. Now, a while back, I picked up a bunch of cheap, 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 cheap bubble wrap, which is good because it'll still wrap up items just fine. But one thing about this bubble wrap is you can tell it's super cheap. And I don't know if you see, you can almost see through it. And you see there's a lots of bubbles that are popped or they're just weren't never formed when in the factory. And I try to get bubble wrap that's going to be at least decent quality, even though it's cheap, because I want to be able to wrap my items and know they're going to arrive safely. Well, recently I went ahead and affiliated myself with American Bubble Boy and a lot of other resellers have done so too. So you may have noticed that if you watch other resellers, but American Bubble Boy has some really, really good bubble wrap. In fact, I've got a bunch of it sitting up there. 
One thing I like about the American Bubble Boy is it is inexpensive, but the quality is very good. And I'm not just saying that because I'm affiliated now. One thing I like to get is what I call two foot bubble wrap because if I'm wrapping big items like a VCR or the pictures I sold earlier, large picture frame, things like that, I know I can wrap that up securely and I don't have to use a bunch of little small bubble wrap. And this two foot bubble wrap comes perforated just like the one foot bubble wrap so I can rip it off in one foot sections just two feet wide. And they have large bubble wrap and small bubble wrap. So if you're needing some bubble wrap and you're wanting to use the affiliate link to get it at a really, really good price, it would help us out and I would really appreciate it. The affiliate link will be down below. So be sure to get yourself some bubble wrap. And if you don't need any, then that's fine too. But when you do, think about me and think about using that affiliate link. Well, this is the time when we reach the end of the video. But don't run away too quickly, because just like I said at the very beginning of the video, we do have something to talk about that's very important. But these are the items that sold today, and I got to get them wrapped up. And between yesterday's and today's sales, we had pretty good days, so I'm really happy. And I didn't total it all up. Generally, I try to total it up and tell you what the items sold for and tell you what we're going to make out of them. Well, I just got to get these out the door into the post office, so I'm going to do that. But I want to talk about what I said we were going to talk about, and that's something that's very important, and that's this right here, the RK Treasure Center chest. And it is official because it has the RK Treasure Center logo, but this is the RK Treasure Center treasure chest. And if you see this, you know exactly what it means. And if you don't know what this is, maybe it's because you're not a subscriber. So if you're not yet a subscriber, reach over, click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. So that way, you know, when our videos come out, because generally whenever people see this treasure chest, they know something good is about to happen. And I can tell you unofficially here in the next video or two, we are going to have a giveaway and you don't want to miss what's going to be inside this treasure chest. Oh, it's going to be good.